For some people, the coronavirus pandemic has been an opportunity to make money. A chance to sell fake corona kiosks. I am undercover journalist Anas Arimiao Anas. I keep my face and my identity secret to protect me from the crooks I expose. I have been investigating quack doctors in Ghana, men who illegally sell fake coronavirus kiosks. I brought the cure of the coronavirus. Yes. Coronavirus can fall and die. Not everything you see on social media is true. There is no known cure for coronavirus. Fake medicines are dangerous. WHO estimates 100,000 people die every year as a result of them in Africa. In Ghana, I investigated two quack doctors who were exploiting the pandemic and creating the fake COVID cures. They even advertised their products on the radio. How sure are you, sir, when you are a cure COVID-19? Well, my confidence level is 99.9. .9. To avoid being prosecuted, the so-called Dr. Abdallah was adamant the product was not for sale and that he was waiting for approval from the regulators. Dr. Abdallah then broadcast his phone number on the radio. I visited Dr. Abdallah's office with a secret camera after this interview. I pretended my brother was sick with coronavirus. I wanted to see if their product was secretly and illegally for sale. He did his best to persuade me his drug would work. They even claimed people were leaving hospitals to collect their cure. After his sales pitch, he sold me three bottles of his product for 1,000 CDs, approximately $172. Before leaving, Dr. Abdullah Sr. warned us one of his bottles would cause serious diarrhea. We said our goodbyes, but I returned to meet the two quacks a few weeks later, after they called me repeatedly, urging me to buy more kiosks. Inside their house, I found more than 100 bottles of their concoction. Very strong power. In a strange move to try and impress us, Dr. Abdallah claimed he possesses mysterious spiritual power. He claimed he is invincible. Then the talk returned to money. They demanded over 25,000 US dollars for 100 so-called cures. 150,000. 150,000. Okay. They thought they had hit the jackpot, but we would never come back and pay for the drugs. Instead, we took the cures to the Ghana Standard Authority for a toxicology test to see if they contained any dangerous ingredients. All their products failed to meet the standards for human consumption. The results showed they contained unacceptable levels of bacteria and mold which has the potential to cause serious illness. We took our findings to the director of the FDA. Just by looking at the product, I can tell you it's not registered. FDA would never allow you to put this in your product, COVID-Q1. 
She told us the agency would take swift action against anyone selling unregistered medicines. Really, it is a very serious crime, and I'm not joking with this. After their own investigation, the Ghanaian FDA moved to shut down the production facilities of the Abdalis. The agents found more than 300 bottles. Dr. Abdallah attempted to persuade the agents that he had not been selling the products. Well, we have not sold this thing in any way or the other. We have not sold them out to anybody. But what you have here is in commercial quantities. We made that in this quantity in the sense that we are waiting for when the approval comes. Well, we did not intend selling. We sent our allegation to the Abdallah brothers and they responded, claiming their product was for testing purposes only and that they are taking steps to license it. They claimed they never said their product can cure coronavirus, despite it being labeled COVID cure. They also claimed they had never sold their concoction to anybody. The Abdallah brothers have both been detained by the FDA and are facing questioning. But as COVID-19 spreads across Africa, quacks continue to raise false hopes and to put people's lives in danger.